Heat Frenzy, sponsored by Berkshire Heating and Air and Wilbur Hammond, Munson Academy. Good evening, sports fans. It's time for Friday Night Frenzy. I'm your host, Glenn Kittle, and it was a rainy Friday night for high school sports this week, but that didn't stop anyone from showing up and showing out to play. Let's start things off. We've got Wakona taking the road trip to Amherst for some Thursday night for football. First quarter for both these teams was a real defensive chess match. Here's Jamison Dion with a big tackle for a short game. Up in the Hurricanes force fourth down, but the Warriors came out to play. Bad snap for the Canes, and the Warriors scooped the ball up to get them back on offense. They're going to be still scoreless through the first quarter, winding down, and the Canes give the ball to J.D. going outside. Somehow staying on his feet through a rough tackle. It's going to take a lot of Warriors to take him out of bounds. 20-yard gain, still 0-0 zero zero through the first quarter. In the second quarter, Nene Fernandez drops back, finds Davis and Dion over the middle, and somehow makes it out of two tackles and puts on the burner's mama. There goes that man again, Jamison Dion making it six to nothing. Hurricanes wide receiver Trey Bowman is going to make it eight to nothing after the two point conversion. Very next drive for the Warriors. They run the reverse to wide receiver Wes Dews. He takes it outside, gets the Warriors down to about the five yard line. Warriors are going to line up in the Wildcat. Running back Peyton Shippey finds his hole and plows over the Hurricanes to get the Warriors on the board, making it Amherst eight, Wakona six in the first half. And the Hurricanes will keep their lead and their undefeated record intact. Final score in that one, Amherst 16, Wakona 12. Holyoke is going to be hosting Long Meadow all at Gilligan Field for this matchup. Going to start things off in the first quarter. Long Meadow's Brody Harrington pitches out to Zachary Tasman, who puts up about 40 yards on this one. Gets to the outside, makes a man miss, almost gets into the end zone. Going to be putting the Lancers in great position. Now it's second and goal. The handoff goes to Luca Marino, and he's going to get it on his feet for a touchdown. Six to nothing Lancers after a failed two-point conversion. Now we're going to move things on to the second quarter. Holyoke's Nathan Pock back to pass. He hits Jaden Cauley on the sail route. Gets him in the five-yard line. Now it's going to be third and goal. Holyoke's Nathan Pock pitches to Zappaniah Williams. He's in there for the score. Holyoke touchdown. Game's now tied at six to six. Still in the third quarter, Longmeadow's Brody Harrington. This time he's going to pitch out to Zachary Tasman again and again. It's Tasman with a big gain outside. He's going to eventually get out of bounds. Watch the camera guy. First and ten, Lancers in the red zone. Brody Harrington hands off to Jurgen Bovere. Bovere avoids some tackles and scores. Longmeadow's second touchdown of the night, and the Lancer is going to win big in this one. Final score, Longmeadow 38, Holyoke 12. Take things over to volleyball. Took beat Com taking on Minichog. Starting off with the Colts serving to the Falcons. Sammy Long sets it up to Ava Murray to put it over. Olivia Warren dishes it to Charlotte Smith. He's going to set up a Colt spike. It's going to be the Trog Libero Ava Murray into Sammy Long. And it's. Now we're going to move on to Eliza Berger on the serve. Sammy Long makes a heads up play over the net, bumps it to Sienna Desenro. Hits it perfectly where Noah can get it. Tayal Lopez serving for Chog. Libero plays it clean to Charlotte Smith on the bump. Back to Lorianas Vasquez, who gets it over to Save Stewart. Bumps it to Sammy Long. Then Anna O'Toole. He's going to be blocked by Vasquez. Aslan Rose serves it to Colts. Smith sets it up for Vasquez and tips to Stewart. Colts are going to try to get it over, but O'Toole with the block. And the point for Chog. Colts serving. Meanwhile, the Falcons doing some defensive work. Sets up for Julia Zielinski. Smith bumps it back to Dakota Campos. August, he finds the corner for the Colts. But the Falcons then taking the dub in this one. Minnetog 3, Comp 0. More girls volleyball, this time it's Pope Francis visiting Central. Central playing the serve to Mayanara Cabrera. Sets it up for Zanaya Tautalatasi for the kill. Central starting off the scoring. Pope Francis serving again. Daviana Algera bumps it out and checks it to Cabrera with the eyes in the back of her head play. Tips it for the score. The Golden Eagles serving it to the Cardinals. Ellie Hanachuk bumps it to Colleen Clark and over the net. The Golden Eagles, Sofia rodriguez Burgo sets up Tala Tala Tassi. Up high and down hard for the kill. Central serving again. Hanachuk misses. Clark is going to clean this one up. Gets it back to Hanachuk who puts it over perfectly for the Cardinals score. Tautalatasi again, doing it this time on the ace with her serve. Tautalatasi serving once again. The Cardinals doing some defensive work to get it over, but denied by Nevea Branyan. Central coming away with a convincing victory in this one. Final score, Central three sets, Pope Francis zero.
Game of the Week, sponsored by Berkshire Heating and Air Conditioning of West Springfield. Game of the Week has two teams on complete opposite ends of the win-loss column. Chicopee Comp Football still looking for their first win of the season. Meanwhile, Springfield Central brandishing a perfect record through Week 3. But can David take out Goliath? Let's find out. The Chicopee Comp Colts on home field versus the Springfield Central Golden Eagles. This is the play is Central's first touch of the football in this one. Running back J.C. on Cox on the punt return after the Central forces a three and out. And he's going to find some room on the outside. Make it a 45-yard return for Central. Touchdown in the first five minutes of the game ain't too bad. Central's going to go for two in the Wildcat. Cox taking it up the middle again. He's going to put it in for two. Central makes it eight to nothing. Central back on offense this time. Quarterback Jarrah Stain drops back and finds Dwayne early, but he's right on time in the end zone. Another two-point conversion is going to make it 16 to nothing Central. Central on offense again. Stain this time, he's going to drop back and find Jay Kellis Algerin for the touchdown. Another two-point conversion makes it 24 nothing Central. Central in the second quarter handing off to Nate Jackson. He's got a lane, beats the defender of the pylon. Central now makes it 30 to nothing. Now onto the two-point conversion. We're handing it off to J.C. on Cox again. He's going to cut it up the middle, pass his blockers, makes it an easy and cool 32-0 Central. It's a Central show in this one this time. The jet sweep to Matthias Barber. He's got blockers. He gets to the pylon for another Central score. Another two-point conversion makes it 40 to nothing before the half, and the Golden Eagles remain undefeated. Final score in that one, Springfield Central 56, Kickapee Comp, oof, zero.